When it comes to the Oakland Athletics relocation to Las Vegas, it seems like the only word people can use to describe efforts at the moment is solid? Rob Manfred on the plans. Las Vegas is solid. Brandon Moore, CEO of Gaming and Leisure Properties, Inc., the company that owns the land the A's Las Vegas stadium is supposed to be built on, uttered basically the business equivalent to the word solid when discussing the renderings of the project he has seen. Although, if we're being honest, who knows what the hell that guy saw based on what's happening with the entire project at the moment. What makes this sentiment so astounding, so sort of mind-blowing, is the fact these are stakeholders. These are people invested in the success of the project. It's not like we're talking about some guy on the street who doesn't really care, who's not really invested in what happens here. These are people who need this to work. These are people who success and whose futures are hinging on whatever happens in Las Vegas with the A's. And all they can say about the A's going to Las Vegas is that plans are solid. Solid. Solid is the word you use to describe a relationship that you want to get out of. Oh yeah, me and What's-Her-Face, we're uh, we're solid. Solid, of course, being code word for that you're unhappy and looking for a way out of that relationship and just can't find one. That description, by the way, certainly seems like Vegas at the moment as it relates to those fighting athletics whose fight seems to be a battle of incompetence with itself and one it seems to be losing. There's never been a stadium project or team relocation met with such apathy from the city getting a new sports franchise. At best, Las Vegas seems nonplussed about the entire thing. And at worst, honestly, most folks are just ready to wash their hands of the entire ordeal. At this point, all the chief propaganda officer for the A's relocation, Mick Akers of the Las Vegas Review Journal, can do is fabricate enthusiasm where none exists. Just look at this peach of an intro to a quote from GLPI boss Brandon Moore. Here, Akers claimed Moore noted that GLPI executives have seen the latest stadium renderings and are excited about the project's potential. Obviously, when you get to the quote, you're probably expecting someone gushing over this project's potential and just really, you know, all in on what's happening with the stadium being built on their land. But this is the quote for Moore. We've had an opportunity to see the stadium architectural designs, and we've seen several variations of the integrated resort design, and we still fully believe the fully developed property will be a very good addition to that corner of the strip. That, my friends, is not excitement. That is, well, basically this. You gotta do something, man. You can't just sit there. Side note here, I wonder if Akers sees his promise of 3% off all concessions at the new Las Vegas baseball stadium with purchase of a large fountain drink slipping away and is now kind of trying to fabricate excitement or positivity where none exists because that is what Dave Cavill and John Fisher promised him. Excitement? There is well and truly none. Not in that quote and not when it comes to the A's and Las Vegas. Everyone in the city has basically admitted to this fact, apart from a small handful of people who do seem genuinely interested in the A's playing ball in the city. At this point though, there is probably more excitement in Vegas about Dodgers games being broadcast locally in Spanish than the team who will actually be moving there in a few years time. That is no bueno. Look, I get why Manfred and GLPI bosses and Las Vegas politicians aren't saying this, but the writing is very much on the wall here. Oakland A's management and Bally's management do not know what the hell they are doing. Full stop. Both parties have failed time and time and time and time, and time, and time, and time, and time again, because they are just two of the worst possible partners you could imagine. On one side, there is John Fisher, Dave Cavill, and the Oakland Athletics, a group that has proven itself to be wildly inept when it comes to negotiations, when it comes to putting up cash to finance anything. Then on the other hand, there's Bally's, just this company that has ruined sports that just continues to make bad investment after bad investment after bad investment. And then when it comes time to deliver on something, they either don't do it or it's wildly underwhelming. The thought that these two were somehow going to come together and deliver on plans for a ballpark in a timely fashion, it was naive. The fact that it's being allowed to continue, though, is just dumb.
You can't help but think those in Las Vegas are looking rather enviously over at Utah and Salt Lake City as far as what they have in store for baseball. In what feels like basically the same amount of time the A's have been trying to make Las Vegas work, Utah has put together a great plan, a stadium plan, and really has everything in place. Salt Lake City is MLB ready. Now, maybe they do not get an expansion team. That, of course, is the risk. You are competing with other cities in the process. It's possible that someone like Portland or even a contender we don't know about is able to knock them off their perch when it comes to getting to landing that new baseball team. Yet they are in a far better position without a team than Vegas is with a ball club in the form of the Oakland Athletics. That's preposterous. That's ridiculous. It makes no sense as to how that can even be. Let's make one thing perfectly clear here too. I don't think this is a Vegas issue. This is an A's management issue. They failed in Oakland to get a stadium. They're failing in Las Vegas to get a stadium. If the athletics were involved with Salt Lake City, it's easy to believe that project would have gone totally sideways because that's just how this franchise operates. That aside, as it relates to those Oakland A's and Las Vegas, well, that relationship, that relocation is about as solid as quicksand. Sure, maybe these parties can pull themselves up to safety, but normally, when you struggle in quicksand, it takes you down. Meanwhile, over in Oakland, you still have thousands of fans, tens of thousands of people still supporting this franchise and brand that has done nothing in recent times but abandon them, neglect them, and ultimately, totally disrespect them. Folks in Las Vegas are going to spend this summer and next summer and probably quite a few summers in the future following the Los Angeles Dodgers because it's kind of a Dodgers town. But in Northern California, there are still going to be lots of people supporting those Oakland A's. Even if the team's disdain for them has chased them away from actually turning out for games, that passion for the team is still there. Just look at what we saw at FanFest. Look at what we see throughout this entire saga. While Vegas is indifferent to the proposal, the idea of the team coming to its city, there are still people Oakland fighting and wanting the franchise to be there. How absolutely ridiculous does this all sound? You have one city that doesn't even care if the team shows up. You have one city fighting to keep the team, and yet that is just... I don't even know. I've lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, but I, it, it blows my mind. It's just that freaking stupid. What it all boils down to for me is that support. That is the only thing solid as it relates to the Oakland days at this very moment in time. Rob Manfred may not care about what happens to the team because he's checking out in a few years. Las Vegas will move on with or without the A's. Yet the sole group who seemingly actually cares about the future of the team can't even get a seat at the table, can't even get their voice heard. Solid doesn't mean a damn thing, but being rooted somewhere, that is truly special. And that should be the A's in Oakland. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to look at some of the more ridiculous places the Oakland Athletics could potentially play in 2025 and beyond, well, video upper right hand corner of your screen is the place to go. Until next time, I am Cheyenne Hollis. This is the Touchback. Hashtag sell the team and hashtag take it out to the 25.